Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of hand-colored portraits from the Qing Dynasty in China. Get ready to be amazed as we explore these rare and stunning photographs that capture the essence of a bygone era. But first, let's talk about the man behind the lens. Baron Raymond von Stilfried Rottenich, a leading foreign photographer in Yokohama during the 1870s, was not your typical artist. Born in Austro-Hungary, he initially pursued a military career like his father. However, his passion for painting led him on a remarkable journey across the seas. After studying at prestigious institutions in Trieste and Austria, Stilfried set sail for South America, China, and eventually Japan. It was in Japan that he found his true calling as a photographer. The timing couldn't have been more perfect. Japan was opening up to the world, embracing trade, tourism, and Western influences. In 1873, Stilfried was commissioned by the Japanese government to document the modernization of Hokkaido. His photographs captured not only the process of modernization, but also the diverse ethnic Ainu people. These images provided a window into a rapidly changing society. But Stilfried's journey didn't end there. In the mid-1870s, he traveled to Shanghai, where he applied his unique aesthetic to traditional Chinese types. From beggars to high society individuals, he meticulously staged each portrait, bringing out their unique characteristics. These hand-colored souvenir photos were not just ordinary snapshots. They were carefully crafted to appeal to wealthy Western tourists, who were eager to take a piece of China's rich culture back home. Each photograph tells a story, capturing the essence of a complex society undergoing immense change. To truly understand the significance of these portraits, we need to delve into the historical context of 19th century China. The country was grappling with numerous challenges, including overpopulation, land shortages, and famine. The rural population was increasingly impoverished, burdened by heavy taxes and inflation. As the Qing regime struggled to maintain control, rebellion, lawlessness, and foreign exploitation plagued the nation. The collapse of the imperial tradition was imminent, and the revolution of 1911 would mark the end of an era. Thanks to the Metropolitan Museum of Art and the Library of Congress, we have the privilege of exploring these incredible photographs today. So sit back, relax, and let's embark on a journey through time as we uncover the hand-colored portraits of the people of China during the Qing Dynasty.